prevent this, which means you're pretty smart guy. And you, you're, you're telling us things about these variants. It gets a little chilling to me to, to hear some of what you're saying. I don't know why we haven't heard more from you up to this point, but my question is this. So, for people, you support science, obviously, and you support the vaccination science, and your breakthrough led to these vaccines. So, I, I know it's a general question, and you can't answer specific questions of individuals with unique medical histories, and you don't know anything about their history. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he rescues them. How many would like to have a life, a better quality of life, a life that is marked with riches and honor and life? Listen to what Proverbs 22 verse 4 says. The key to a better quality of living is the fear of God. The reward of humility and the fear of the Lord are riches, honor, and life. Given all of the benefits that the Bible associates with fearing God, it should be no surprise that at the beginning of the book of Proverbs, Solomon gives this foundational principle for success in life. Proverbs 1.7 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Now you may be asking yourself the natural question, well, Pastor, if that's true, if the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, why are you ending this series talking about the fear of God? Why are you making it the tenth Solomon secret instead of the first one when we started this series? Well, here's the interesting thing. The Bible says the fear of God is both the beginning of wisdom, but it's also the end of wisdom. Over in Proverbs 2, verses 4 and 5, Solomon says, If you will seek wisdom as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures, then you will discern the fear of the Lord and discover the knowledge of God. That is, if you go on this treasure hunt for what the Bible calls wisdom, the skill to live life according to God's plan, as you search for God's wisdom, once you have dug through the rubble and dirt of worldly philosophy, you'll find God's wisdom. And right, right alongside God's wisdom will be the fear of God. The fear of God is the first 